Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to our official channel sponsors, Mariana Ramondi and Sierra Laszlock. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on an awesome tour of my friend's plant collection. I thought that I would venture outside of my plant room and change things up. Before we head on over there though, I do want to mention my memberships on my channel. If you guys haven't heard of my memberships, my most recent video does talk about them and the different tiers that are available. But basically you can join for as little as $1.99 Canadian a month and you get added to an awesome Facebook group that is full of planty people and there are other tiers that go on from there. Also, if you guys aren't already subscribed, you can hit that button down below. It really helps out my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. If you guys want to leave a comment for my friend who you will meet in the next clip here, please do so. Just please make sure to leave only positive comments as she is putting herself out there and she's very brave for doing so. <laughs> Anyways, let's head on over. <laughs> All right guys, so I am here with Brooke. Hello. We are going to be doing a really awesome tour of her collection today. I did want to show you guys around because honestly, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing just my plants. <laughs> and I've gone to a lot of nurseries lately, so I wanted to switch things up and show you guys some of her awesome, awesome plants, because you do have some really awesome plants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the one behind you. <laughs> so, how many plants would you say that you have? I probably have over a hundred plus right now. Okay. Um, which is quite a few. Yeah. Um, do you have like a favorite genus that you're like really into right now? Uh, I'm actually really getting into codex plants. Okay. Huh. Hopefully we see some of those yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, you know me, I'm like a philodendron and hoya lover. I see yeah. some awesome philodendrons and anthuriums and, and hoyas and begonias. They honestly have so many cool plants. Like she has an amazing selection here, so yeah, we may as well just get straight into the video and stop blabbing, but actually, one more thing before we start. How long have you been collecting plants? Uh, so I've been collecting plants for about a year and a half now. Okay, yeah. So definitely longer than me. I've kind of been crazy and I, <laughs> I only started like six months ago and I'm out of control, but... All right, guys, so let's get straight into this video. guys so we're just gonna start off with her greenhouse which looks super awesome do you want to go in there and tell me what's going on <laughs> over here in this corner is one of my favorite alocasias this is alocasia cupria um, which is a jewel alocasia um, is actually this is the normal form it's not red secret um, oh yeah um, I did hear about the red secret recently yeah and but that's cool they have these really intricate backs um, and if you ever get a chance to touch one they feel quite different than your normal um, philodendron or anthurium they feel a lot like more like smooth and slippery. oh yeah um, they're glossy yeah that's super cool. And then behind it, we have another alocasia. This is Silver Dragon, which is dirty. <laughs> um, and this is also a jewel alocasia. Um, this one feels almost like a stingray. Um, yeah. Um, and there's, it's not the 
Bandaga, which is the dragon scale. It's the silver dragon. So it's a little bit different. It has a very silvery blue tone. Yeah, I used to have one of these, but I ended up selling it just because I had so many plants at one point. I was like, I, I really love philodendron and I'm not obsessed with alocasia. So I tried to get rid of all of my alocasia. I'm kind of weird like that. I like to have just certain species and like mostly just those species. <laughs> but I love that you have so many different kinds of plants here. Yeah, that's awesome. And then is this uh, just a Monstera Dubaia there? It is, so it's a juvenile that I grew from a cutting. Um, that's awesome. Uh, so I got it as uh, a three leaf cutting. I chopped it and then it immediately took off. Okay. Um, and so then I made another cutting about a week or two ago. Yeah. And it actually has started growing again and has a new leaf. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. And then behind that is one of my favorite plants ever, which is Philodendron Painted Lady. Oh, yes. This is on my wish list. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, need that. Okay. So the new leaves, uh, you can see, come in kind of red. So there's a new leaf forming there. Yeah. Um, and then they fade to green. But as they go, they turn orange and then yellow and then green. That's amazing. So they end up going completely green eventually? Yes. Okay. So they keep their paint marks, but you can see some of the bigger leaves here. Oh, that's a part of the same plant. Yeah, okay, it wow. Is. So I chopped that one too for a friend. Okay. Um, from its main growth point. But yeah. I actually had two that I didn't know about. So it immediately activated and got bigger leaves. That's awesome. So that's really awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Actually, I didn't know that they kind of like eventually reverted back to their their normal green. They, they usually stay a little bit more painted, Okay. But they go quite green eventually. And then that guy, is yeah. that a Pictum tricolor? It is a Pictum oh. tricolor. So it's a juvenile, so it has the silver stripes still down the middle. Yeah. Um, but just started putting out a new leaf uh, that's starting to unfurl, um, which I'm so excited about. It um, is beautiful. Yeah, so I got him from BC in a trade. Okay. Um, and he's super cool. I've never seen um, one of those in person before. Yeah. So oh, yeah. actually a lot of these plants, I feel like I haven't seen in person. So I'm really excited to... Yeah. Really get to look at them <laughs> close up. Yeah. Um, next beside that is a Soderoy. Yeah. Um, oh. Uh, which I activated a growth point as well on it. That's awesome. Um, which is quite gorgeous. Um, yeah. It's such a cool plant. It's less silver than the Brandiatum. Yeah. Um, in like metallicness, but it's super, super cool. Yeah. And as it matures the leaves really, really get like fantastic. Yeah, I it, that one's definitely on my wish list also. I can't seem to find them here though. They're they're pretty uncommon in our area. Like yeah. of the heart leaf silvery plants, yeah. like they're probably one of the more difficult to find yeah. in my opinion, at least. I got that guy for 60 bucks. Wow, that's um, really good. With four leaves, but the other leaves were not the greatest. Yeah. Um, is that one of the original leaves there? It is. It's okay. the original leaf. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. And then one of my absolute gems in my collection. Yeah. This is Anthurium Katsuimis, um, which is a cool growing Anthurium. Uh, it is gorgeous. Um, some people call it like the chicken foot, or I've had people cons um, compare it to a cassowary foot. Yeah. Uh, which is a big really cool bird it's um, amazing uh, yeah. they're very rare right they're they very, like botanically rare yes that's yeah. amazing yeah. and do you know where you got that one um i got it in a trade actually okay um for my herbarium actually oh nice um, and it um is just so cool <laughs> yeah it is really um, really cool <laughs> uh, yeah and as it grows they actually like to be on moss poles oh really different than your average anthurium. The petioles are really thin, eh? Yes, yeah, so they like to almost climb a bit. Yeah. It's really, really interesting because you don't see many anthuriums do that typically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a super, super cool one. Um, and they like cool growing temps, so they like to mostly a night drop. So what I'll actually do is I will put ice, cube in, ice cubes in a little bowl in there in front of my fan and it will drop the temps for me at nighttime. That's really, really cool. Yeah. So you're giving this guy the special treatment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Those are my Draculas. Yeah. Um, which are really, really cool orchid. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and you got a Squammy back there. Yes, a beautiful Squammy, which is one of was one of my big wishless plants and still is. Yeah, I just recently got a Squammy at Secret Garden. I. 
ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, she has really awesome ones. They're really nice. Yeah. And I don't know, is this still somewhat juvenile, do you think? Uh, that yeah. leaf shape? Okay. Yeah, it is. So yeah. they get, oh darn, I don't have the big Florida ghosts anymore. But um, if you look at mature uh, Florida ghosts or pagatum, you can see that really big, um, exaggerated leaf shape. Yeah. It's so, so cool. Yeah, I, I had a... Um, Florida, like mm -hmm. the one that's not the ghost, mm -hmm. but like a cross between um, some of them, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it did have some more mature leaves for sure. I, I imagine it looks kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, is this Silta Pecana here? It is. Yes. Nice. Uh, just a little baby. Yeah. Um, and he's pretty cool. He has a big new leaf coming with a new growth point. Awesome. Um, he started to activate the lower one, so that's why I chopped him again. Yeah. Um, but he is such a cool little plant. Um, and as not many people know, but as they really get bigger, they do get fenestrations as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So um, I really want to find the El Salvador um, one as well, because they have much bigger leaves with more silver. Um, and they're more blue-toned. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I've seen, um, I've, I've only ever seen them in this form, like without the fenestration. So yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Um, and then there is a forgetty eye. Okay, that's what yeah. that is, yeah. So that's a cup form forgetty eye. Okay, um, what's the difference? So they get a lot more, they're kind of like a round form, but they actually are like cup shaped. Oh, really? Signature. That's so cute. Yeah, uh, so I got him in a trade as well. Um, and super, super awesome plant, um, from a lovely, lovely friend of mine. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. Uh, so, and, uh, she actually traded me the Allegomia Picton tricolor, too. Oh, wow. Uh, she's so, so lovely. Really awesome person. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, and then there's a Domesticum. Yeah, I haven't seen those in person either. Yeah. So I love the way that they start to fade to that yellowy color. Yeah. Because it's almost non apparent in the variegation at first. Okay. Like, like your Oreo variegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on the Monsteras. Um, and like most plants, like anything with Oreo variegation. But it the transformation is so, so cool. Uh, it's kind of like a hidden ink or something. Yeah. It shows up. It's a little surprise every time, which is super cool. Yeah. Is this a newer leaf here? It is a newer leaf. So yeah, you so you can see. That's really cool. I love yellow variegation. Yeah. I really want the... Um, the San Leana Aurea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. had the Albo for a while, but I traded it actually for my... Monstera Albo. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, I know. It's a pretty awesome trade yeah. in, <laughs> on my part. <laughs> um, but I do eventually want to get the Aurea version of it. Yes, yes. Is this your Mame here? It is. So it's a really awesome plant. Yeah. Uh, a new leaf is slowly starting to come. You can kind of see it um, pushing through a little bit, mm. but very just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, but... That guy is super cool. The petitoles are super, super ripply, not as much as my Pomani eye. Yeah. But they have very delicate maroon ripples as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, I have a baby of that guy. It's It hasn't gotten to this size yet. It looks almost like very round still, yeah. where a lot of the more mature mammies, or mammies I've seen yeah. um, look like more elongated. Yeah, mine is still very round, so... Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll mature sooner or later, but. Yours is gorgeous. So oh, <laughs> yeah. And then what's this? This is a Midrium Zipliana. Oh, I've never so, seen a, a mature one of this before. Yeah, so that's a baby. Yeah. So as it matures, it gets these really, really cool. Um, they look kind of like a little four fingered hand or something. Okay. Hand. Yeah. Um, and they turn into such a cool um, plant. And so I'm very, very lucky to have one in my collection um, because they are quite hard to find. Yeah, I, I've honestly never even heard of it. So that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Kind of looks like, um, I mean, the texture looks to me kind of like a, a Rifidophora decursiva yeah. almost, but yeah. obviously not that, yeah. but I can kind of see the resemblance. Yeah. yeah. Um, the yeah. interesting area of the greenhouse. Everything else is propagations. 
for carnivorous plants. Yeah, we'll take a quick look yeah. at these guys. Yeah. So they're beautiful. There's also a Dracula in there soaking right now. Um, okay. Which is a absolutely amazing orchid. Um, is that this guy? Yeah, it is. Okay. He's a little sad right now because um, he missed out on the watering, but... Uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Are they more uncommon? They're very uncommon and they're also cool growing plants. They yeah. like it at about 14. Okay. Um, and they are the monkey face orchid. Oh. So that is Dracula simia. So it's really just awesome. They look like little monkey faces when they flower. Really? Oh, that's so yeah. cute. I'll have to find a picture and put it on the screen for you guys. Yeah. What is this? This so is really cool. That is variegated Swedish ivy. He oh. Went through a little bit of a rough path. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Um, but Still cute though. Yeah. So my he was gifted to me as well. Mm -hmm. Um, such a cool plant. Um, so many cool plants. I always gush about my plants. Yeah. No, you have amazing plants. <laughs> um, but uh, this guy is one of my like cutest ones. Yeah. He has these little scalloped edges. Um, yeah, you can see it on that one there. Yeah. Really cute. A little rough patch, so it's looking a little bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it looks like you've got some cool little yeah. babies here. So I have a tournament in there. Yeah, that I guy. A melanocrysum. I have a black velvet baby. I have cool. a vinalarum. And is that a little tiny pink princess too? It is, yes. That's adorable. Yeah. So I have some. Oh, I also have some varicosum and Bromark's fantasy sticks in there. Oh. Yeah, so lots of little goodies. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. And then some Hoya propagations, it looks yes. like. Yeah, a mix Ziploc bag, bags, yeah. yeah. Um, I have a begonia pavonia in there. Oh, okay. Um, which is the metallic blue. Yeah. And I have a rugosum in there. Oh, you have rugosum, eh? Yeah. That's awesome. Rugosum. Yeah, I have one as well. Okay. I've seen a lot of the... Sorry, before we talk about that, what are these guys? These in there, so there's not much in there at okay. the moment. Um, but in, well, I, I can bring that up, but I have some peace lily. Um, oh, cool. Peace lily seeds yeah, there. that's awesome. Um, and then I have some begonia props too. Cool. Yeah, I was going to say about the rugosum. Um, I have like the regular form, but mm -hmm. I know some people have like a really cool one where it's like ripply the at the, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've been uh, looking around for that. I might pick it up if I can find yeah. it. It's super cool. I uh, would love to get the aberrant form as well. Yeah. Um, and it's, the nickname is cool for it too, this plant, the pig skin. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. The texture, if you get a chance to touch it, is amazing. Yeah, for sure. Especially on mature plants. So yeah. All right. So you've got a domino peace lily yes. here. Yeah. I had one of these for a while, but I I traded it for something I can't remember now. <laughs> but I'm uh I don't get very attached to a lot of my plants. Like yeah. if I want something else, I'll trade. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has one really really cool leaf. On oh yeah. I'll find it for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Um this guy right here. Oh, it's like translucent. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. And yeah. Some really nice variegation on this guy. That's why I picked him out. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, he's from Vandermeer, so I've got him for 25 Oh, nice. Bucks, That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got your... Big Congo down here. Yeah. Um, he is gorgeous. He finished flowering just a little while ago, um, but... Yeah, I got, I had three of them at one point. Oh, wow. Um, so he's the second biggest. It's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, the flowers on these ones just kind of look, like I had a, um, a philodendron moonlight oh, that yeah. flowered. Is it kind of like that? Do you know if it's yeah, like? Yeah, the inflorescences. Yeah. Are, they're cupped. Um, these ones have bright red. Okay, cool. Around them. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've had a couple aeroids in here flower, like my uh, Vitrophorium, Bacari. Um, uh, it, at one point, the Plumani looked like it was going to flower. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> so I was like, please do it. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Um, then you've got an amazing Mykins. Yes. Everyone loves your Mykins. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm very lucky to it's have this It's the star of the show. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's um, amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at your obovata. obovata. Yeah, it has a big pendicle too. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The spur, whatever. Yeah. Spurs. Yeah. It's amazing. Did it flower this year yet? It hasn't. I actually got this guy as a cutting. Okay. Uh, in a trade as well. Um, and I rooted him myself. 
Um, and I could have not asked for a better Obabata. It's, it's amazing. This, <laughs> it, this is exactly what I want eventually. Yeah. It's hard to find them though more, like as more than just a two leaf or three leaf yeah. cutting, so. Really high quality ones. That yeah, really it's very round. Like yeah. you always get ones that are like a little bit deformed, but. Yeah. This is amazing. Like that's the size almost yeah. of my hand. Her mother plant is about the size of my mic. So, oh my gosh. So, uh, so, and I got my uh, urethrina from her too and her urethrina is even bigger. That's so, amazing. Yeah. Um, and then what's yeah. this guy? So this is Thotophyllum sprucianum. Which oh yeah. Which is just reclassified. Um, it used to be Philodendron goldii. Yes. Um, so uh, it's such a cool one. Uh, he's still a little baby. Um, yeah, what do they look like when they're, do they look the same, just they larger? They more like this leaf back here, um, but they fit around your waist. Oh my gosh. Or get bigger than that. That's amazing. Um, so, I'll yeah. kind of turn it towards yeah. me. Um, Beautiful. Uh, yeah, he's actually going to a new home soon. Oh, nice. Um, but uh, he's such a cool little guy, so I'll miss him a lot. But. Yeah. <laughs> This beauty here. Yeah, I saw uh, this one at Secret Garden. It's so yes. pretty. Yeah, and the stems are yeah. so unique. Very cool. Mm -hmm. It looks like like a giraffe or something. <laughs> yeah, it looks prehistoric. Yeah, it really, really does. Yeah. And it's not shiny. Um, it's like a velvety leaf, it's eh? Like satin. Yeah, satin's right. Yeah. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. And then I have a little potato. <laughs> Um, this is Stephanie Erecta. Yeah. Um, I got it just recently, so I'm rooting it up and... Looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, sorry, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> um, Can't I, let that guy fall. Yeah, yeah, this guy would be like, oh no. <laughs> this is my Burl Marks Fantasy. It's amazing. Yeah, so there's two little offshoots in there. That's so cool. This is one that's definitely on my wish list also. Yeah. I gotta find one. <laughs> yeah, we'll hook you up with some eventually. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, and then down here, oh, yeah. um, I have a Mycorrhizum thailandicum, which is the blue iridescent fern. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I have a heterocarp... He I can never remember. <laughs> or something is like that. Is that what this is? Yeah. So okay. It's a miniature orchid. Um, some people call it the lemon scented orchid sometimes. It's um, really pretty. Yeah, it just it just dropped its bloom too. Oh, <laughs> just a little too late. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I have it in one of my painted pots. Yeah, this is some of Brooke's artwork too. Yeah. She's incredible. Yeah. I'll show you guys around some of her some of her art if she yeah. lets me do. <laughs> yeah. The pot I painted as a Luna moth. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, because I love my butterflies. Yeah. yeah. And then here, this jewel orchid looks amazing. Yeah, so that is Macondas patola. I believe it's dark form. Yeah, it does look um, like the dark form. And uh, he has just been doing so well for me. Um, really, really cool plant. I love the colors in it. Like you, yeah. you keep that darkness really well. Yeah. I bet you um, they keep the dark from being like not in too bright a light, yeah. eh? So I try to keep it a little bit less right that I would keep some of my other jewel orchids. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to clean up. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, well, that's what peace silly season look like. Yeah, they're dried up a little bit. But, that's funny. Uh, yeah. No, that's amazing. Yeah. Here, I'll get out of your way and oh, okay, I'll follow baby. you in here. <laughs> um, next up is Plethylus mirabellus. This is the morning Oh version. yeah, okay. And it just started spreading. Um, here, look at that. Yeah, right. perfect. Um, some little new leaves coming in. That's amazing. Yeah. And is this the one that like folds and opens and yeah. <laughs> with yeah, like the, the time? Wing. Yeah. yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. But he is such a cool little guy. Yeah. Uh, I want to get the normal version too because the normal one starts out with red leaves. Oh. Um, but this one has the green all the way Okay. Through. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And then this guy. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my big guy. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. So this is Michael Mounii. Um, he is one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, don't tell the others. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, he, I got his, I got him as an import uh, with just these two leaves and this one coming in. And so I grew these two leaves myself. That's amazing because these guys are uh, a lot smaller than the leaves that you yeah. 
you had this guy put out yeah and uh there's also a lot more of the silver yeah now where mm -hmm. this leaf here almost has Not no exactly. silver yeah this wow. one too and he has a big new leaf starting to come it's just been out for a little while now. Um, oh yeah. So it's just starting to get bigger. Yeah. Um, this leaf, it was about up to here. The leaf thing. Yeah. <laughs> the leaf thing, so it's very scientific. <laughs> like sheath or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Um, it was about up to here when it started unfurling, and then they get even bigger. That's um, amazing. As they grow out. Yeah. This orchid here, yes. this is one of my favorites that yeah. you have. So I'm blanking on the name a little That's bit. That's okay. <laughs> I think it's Stephanita Murata. Okay. Um, but uh, I have about four sections of this nice. in here. Um, this is, they get longer and longer as they go. I think the leaves might even get longer. But this So they, they continue to grow like throughout their life, you think? Yeah, I yeah. think so, yeah. So, That's really cool. Uh, such a cool one. And he likes to be misted a lot. Um, the way to tell with these guys when they want water, so right now if he wants water, is when they're silver, that's when they need water. But when they turn green after watering, it means they've absorbed the water. Right? Okay, or so the roots water. turn silver there, eh? Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, you yeah. can see that. And then my little Florida ghost. Um, yeah. So I got this from a friend, um, too. I have a lot of plants for friends. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so you can see... These leaves are a little bit older. Yep. Um, as they mature, like over time, I mean, not mature over time, as they harden, yep. they go to this dark green. Yeah. Um, but this is, leaf is the newest. This is the second. This is the oldest. And then that's so pretty. They look so minty now, too, yeah. which is so nice. Yeah. It's a gorgeous one. It has a new leaf coming already. Oh, yeah. Um, which is awesome. I'm that is great. Excited. Uh, and then this is my little orchid and Hoya section we're getting into. Awesome. Um, with a couple very cool anthuriums and um, philodendron and stuff. Um, so this guy right here is one of my orchid imports. Okay. This is Tespertus brown and white. Ooh, is the flower brown and white? <laughs> it is, it is, yeah. And it has a little like lavender center. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and then this is, my family called this one the Fruit Loop Orchid. This one is in bloom. It smells like Fruit Loops. Oh my gosh, that's um, so cool. But this is Samara X Mitro Superstar. Look at that name. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And is this a, um, what's it called? Phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and then this is my little um, Pathodophilium. It is beautiful. Uh, yes. So this is a mundane type. Okay. Monday, Monday, probably type. So it's not a species; it's a cross. Um, but it's really cool nonetheless. Sorry, I probably shouldn't take this pot off. Oh. <laughs> one of my artist friends. No, we love it. Yeah. This um, is Caitlin's pot, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's so sick. <laughs> I traded some of my art for some of her art. Oh, me, that's so, so sweet. Yeah. And then I have my Ocidium noid, uh, which is actually has a little tiny, the flowers are starting to emerge a little bit. Um, yeah, I can see that actually. I, I broke this top of the spike, so I feel Aww. bad, but uh, yeah. Um, and these are the leaves on this one, yes, right? Yeah, so bad me has an accordion leaf here, so all of you orchid growers are probably like, no. <laughs> what does that mean? So uh, accordion leaves are caused by under or over watering at the wrong time. Okay. So that's what the little accordion shaped leaf is from. Oh wow, okay. Um, cool. And then back here, <laughs> all the way back here, this is Fowl Kenneth Schubert Blue. Ooh. <laughs> so it's one of the true, uh, well as close to blue as we can get in Phalaenopsis. Yeah. Um, and it's from one of my other friends. <laughs> Lots of cool plants from friends. Yeah. Um, but that is one of her uh, offsets from her main one. Awesome. Uh -huh. But I will find you a picture of that one because it's super duper cool. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I'll, and if even if you can't find a picture, yeah. because you're able to tell me all the names, yeah. I can probably find them yeah. and put them on the screen yeah. for, for everyone watching. Uh, and then here's my little um, little tiny section of Fusco Marginata. Which awesome. Is yes. Um, 
which I'm very lucky that uh, Lucia brought me to, <laughs> um, to make mine a bit bigger. Yeah, um, it'll be taller, which is yeah. cool because you have some leaves like closer to the yeah. base of the pot, so. Yeah, and uh, then I have a rounded diphora with some new leaves. Mine's oh, quite nice. wrinkly, Yeah, actually. that's cool though. It's a bit different. Um, Yours looks glossier than mine too. Yeah. I call this one like Shrek's toes. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and then I have, oh, all the way back there, I even missed him. Um, I have a Liparis Lactifolia. Okay. Which is another really cool orchid. And then and one of my favorite orchids. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, uh, this is vanilla, variegated vanilla pathologia. It's a true vanilla orchid. So our vanilla beans come from these guys. That's so cool. Honestly, yeah. I never knew that before I like started looking into orchids. I never knew that that's where that came from, yeah. which is just so cool. Yeah, and then this is my baby. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, this is Anthurium waterburiana. Amazing. And what's the, is this a cross? It is, it's, right? It is not. Oh it's no, species. okay. So um, it's a juvenile right now, but waterburiana turns into a big, beautiful, um, like chubby or chunky anthurium. Yeah. Um, super velvety, almost a little bit blue toned. Yeah. Um, but really cool. Also from one of my friends. No, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love, uh, I love seeing some anthurium like in their juvenile stage yeah. and it is really beautiful. And there's a little new leaf coming right there. Sorry, I would kind of squish it. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then I have my Kadata. Um, which was like, I'm going to take off now and just yeah. shot up this. Wow. Um, I actually had to transfer it onto this trellis, uh, yesterday. Cause Sorry, it, I'll sneak in there. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just sneak Yeah, sure. Yeah. It works. <laughs> um, uh, so that guy just shot up his pole and so he actually outgrew it. So I had to put in a huge trellis. He started that offshoot about a week or two ago. Wow. Um, oh my God, look at it. Yeah. It's just, yeah, <laughs> that's it awesome. Just keeps going. <laughs> Is it doing that itself or did you do that? Um, it did it itself. Wow. Yeah. That's so, so cool. Um, and then one of my favorite Hoyas, this is your Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you can see the dark, splashy leaves. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. It looks like, it honestly looks like paint splatter. It does. Because yeah. it's like, it's not silver, it's actually like a, uh, greeny splash yeah. which is really cool yeah, you don't see that often yeah and then this is synagonium lanocardii cool so actually synagonium urethophylla uh not urethophylla that's a begonia <laughs> but uh urethophyllum wow uh, that's so beautiful yeah. it's so dark it's basically black and the undersides Ooh. are a beautiful beautiful maroon yeah wow that's beautiful uh and then i have my chicken farm here oh is... yours looks so different from mine it's yeah. so beautiful yeah um do you know if there are different types of chicken farms they, there might be or it might be like like a minor like it could be just different okay um, yeah um and it's also sun blushed a little bit yeah and mine is quite splashy yeah so. yours is beautiful mm -hmm. i love large leaves like that yeah. is so pretty yeah Hi, this is my only Finlay Finlay Sonia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I want to get more. I actually have one. I can probably bring it. I should have asked. I have another one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have like, I have the chicken farm and then I have, um, the one that I could give you is one I got from, uh, what's it called? Crystal Star. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's just a small guy. It's just one leaf right now, but I got another Finlay Sonia recently, so mm -hmm. I can share. Yeah. <laughs> I will something or no no before. no <laughs> but, um, this is this is one of my favorite plants i have here this is david coming piano oh yeah um, from one of my very close plant friends um awesome. and it has quite a few peduncles yeah. it has one two this one it grew in my clip care just recently um one two three over there with quite a few spurs that's awesome um, i have a tiny one that's just two mm -hmm. leaves of this guy yeah. so it's cool to see it uh, as a larger plant. Mm -hmm. Oh, I completely forgot this guy, my Sibo Blue. Oh yeah. Um, he is also from that same friend actually. Oh, awesome. Um, and uh, this was one of my first rare plants actually. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, and so he's grown quite a bit. I've taken a couple cuttings, um, but 
he's just gorgeous. Yeah. And then one of my new guys. This is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> this is my melanocrysum um, uh, from that BC friend who yeah. just hooked me up with like the Allegonia Pictum, oh. the Spaghetti Eye, um, my Carry Eye, uh, Splash. That's so things. awesome. Um, Mine is so lame compared to that. <laughs> it's like half the size and yeah. it's, it doesn't look anything like that, but yeah. it's so, yours is really, really beautiful. Yeah. So there's a new leaf already coming there. Yeah. Uh, before the end of, like, before we, I leave today, I'd love to talk about your soil mix too, if yeah, you're interested. Of course, yeah. I can, I can actually show you uh, what's in it or bring up one of my soil buckets. Yeah, that'd be amazing. There's a soil station downstairs. That's awesome. Um, uh, but yeah, and then I have my Hokushelia yellow right oh, yeah. here. Um, so you can actually see the difference from the Hokushelia pink, which is a little sun kissed here too. Um, oh, yeah, but Dude, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mine is, I killed mine. <laughs> I think it came like wanting to die, so I don't think it was yeah. all my fault, but. It happens. Yeah. I, yeah, there's a little section here that I'm rooting that's like, not. Nah, I'm out. Uh, sorry, see you later. <laughs> um, you can see, but oh yeah, sad. Yeah. So you can see I have some really not so pretty plants too. No, honestly, so. most of your plants look <laughs> incredible. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> um, and then this is my Rutusa that I just gave a big, big chop. Okay. Uh, because he was down to here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and was, I was not able to get access to all the stuff that was in here. Yeah. Um, and so he got a big chop. So now I have quite a few sections. It's beautiful. I love the Rattusa. Mm -hmm. I have to give my mom mine though, because I don't love it as much as she does and she's obsessed. So I'm going to give her mine. Well, if you want another one, I have lots of cuttings. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, and then I have my little Campo Spartanum. Oh yeah. Um, this guy changes, like he's an the ultra yeah. morphing exactly, <laughs> philodendron. Yeah. Um, so he has a little cut. Oh yeah, he's here, but he has a new spike coming out there because I wanted to start a separate section. So now yeah. he has two. Oh, that's a nice leaf there. Um, but when the new leaves come out, they actually come out pink tones. So you oh can really? See a bit of the pink still on this leaf. Oh yeah. Sometimes it stays a bit. Yeah, that's really cool. But yeah, uh, that is Campos Uh The Hokushelia pink is probably one of my favorite. It's toys. beautiful. I love trellises like that too, yeah. and. Uh, I'm a trellis kind of girl. Do you like trellises or I, you? I love trellises. Yeah. Actually. Uh -huh. Oh, I should have brought my, I'm going to have to come back because <laughs> I, I'm going to make you some trellises. I, I started yes. making them and like making cute heart ones yes. with yarn. So I made this one and I have a monstera cute. one I made. Um, That's so cute. Because I love trellises. Yeah, me too. But I do like the look of the long uh, hanging kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it depends on the plant for mm -hmm. sure. Oh, also a little fun fact about this guy. Yeah. Once he gets over five feet, he will start blooming, and also they have to grow vertically. Oh, really cool. So they can't hang and bloom. They have yeah. to be climbing. Yeah. So I believe it's vertically. It might be horizontally, but <laughs> one of the. Nice. <laughs> That's um, cool. Yeah. But this guy has about fifteen or upwards pentacles. Oh my gosh! Let's so try to find some. One, two, three, four. Wow. Quite a few. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. So when it's flowering, it's freaking flowering. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So usually it has three or four sets at a time. That's amazing. So, yeah. And then I have my little dirty begonia desk. <laughs> um, this is so fun. I love like the, it feels very scientific. <laughs> yeah. I try to keep things um, kind of lab-like for me. Yeah. Atmosphere. Me too. So, this is my technically variegated urethophila. Okay. Uh, so he does have some spots of variegation oh, on him. Oh, yeah. If you can see them, they're kind of hard to spot because they're green. Yeah, I can see that. Um, But he has some spots. Um, That's super cool. Uh, this guy's also otherwise known as the beefsteak begonia. Right. And <laughs> the feeling is so, so cool. It's like leathery and waxy. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. I expected the back to feel like fuzzy but it's not really it's a little yeah. bit spiky and yeah. there's a bit of fuzz but yeah. that's really cool uh then this is begonia snoopy cool um, which has the coolest little stems um actually i think i might have had this one but i threw it out because i thought i saw like something on it i was like ah, getting yeah. rid of it <laughs> not worth it yeah uh, and then my Thai constellation. 
It's kind of just chilling here. It's really cute. Yeah. I love this leaf. Yeah. Looks like an elbow, like yeah. marking all. Yeah. Well, this one, this one crisped up because it was all white oh, on wow. this side. It was almost a half moon. I feel like a lot of the ties that you see lately are just like this. Yeah. So it's nice to see you have yeah. one that has yeah. more sectoral. And I got him before the big boom. I got yeah. him for like a hundred bucks. Nice. Like that. Yeah. Uh, and he had five leaves at the time. Look at the petioles on that one. Yeah. They're very variegated. Yeah. This one's almost all white. Yeah. Um, it's a bit crazy. And you can see the back variegation actually has a bit more. Oh yeah. And uh, so where, which one's the newest leaf? This one? This one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is second. Third. Nice. And if you guys don't know, sorry, if you guys don't know the um, Monstera Thai constellations, the variegation is stable in this one. It won't ever revert. Mm -hmm. It might uh, put out leaves that aren't as variegated as the last few, but mm -hmm. it does hold that variegation. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite. I actually prefer it over elbows. Yeah. Uh, which is is different for me. Um, but yeah, they're actually not my favorite variegated Monstera um, elbows, which is an unpopular opinion. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, it's a uh, Peru variegated. I've never seen that. So I used to have one. Um, but sadly, he's gone now. Oh, did it die or did, did you give it away? <laughs> it uh, went back to its original home. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, and then this is Begonia Solivitata. Yes. Um, which is a super cool one. It is and beautiful. The texture is amazing. It looks bumpy, but it's actually like like bristly um, and bumpy at the same time. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel as bumpy but as it looks. But then the younger sure. leaves, if you feel those, they are quite different. Oh, it's much fuzzier, yeah. like softer. <laughs> They look like they harden up quite a bit. Yeah, and he's actually about to flower again. Oh, nice. So. The flowers on these ones are beautiful. Aren't they white? They are white. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have a little varicosum over here that I grew from a node. Oh, it's um, so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then he's he's quite cool. Yeah. Uh, he actually is one of the types that doesn't have much petitol fuzz. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, um, people actually confuse that guy for a splendid. When I show oh, the yeah. bigger leaves. Um, but yeah. Uh, then this is Begonia Passing Storm. Oh yeah, I have this one too. Yeah. I love it. That one, that leaf isn't as pretty. This one's prettier. Yeah, but... you can see kind of the iridescent mm -hmm. look to it. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And then this is Mame's uh, Nigerkins, which is another Begonia. Really cool. Um, and has these really cool backs. Um, but this is not its final color, so it's actually going to turn all black. Really? Um, and, like the whole leaf? Yeah, and it will eventually get uh, blue iridescence a little bit. Wow. Yeah. And then this is probably one of my favorite begonias. This is Begonia thirstionii. So it actually isn't wet. That's how waxy and shiny it is. It's amazing. And the texture is so unique. Um, just so, so cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you can see through the window there. Yeah. Really, really cool red vein. Wow. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once we move up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a crystalline. Yeah, beautiful. Um, it's a little beat up, but I love imperfect leaves. Yes, um, we love them. <laughs> we live. <laughs> yeah. um, it's got another leaf there. Uh, and then behind him is a Bakari. This guy? Yes. So this is a big pendant leaf anthurium. Um, yeah. That grows umbrella-like, which is really cool. Um, and it's just an awesome plant. When it flowers, I've actually flowered it. Um, and they have bright red seeds when they do. Wow. Like the berries are bright, bright red. And they're a more stiff leaf than like mm -hmm. say the Vitarifolium. Yes. So I actually have one right here. Yeah, so, beautiful. Um, mine is quite velvety and strappy. Yeah. Um, it's very strappy. It's yes. really nice. Yeah. So these guys can actually eventually get up to 10 feet long. Wow. Um, so I'm actually getting rid of mine today. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but I, I, yours is beautiful. Yeah. Um, but they have these beautiful backs too. It's really interesting. The veins are actually quite shifty. Yeah. Um, which is cool. I have this Brazil too. I love my classic Phylos. Oh yeah. Mine actually looks like it has kind of like a 
cream splashy section almost. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Did you get this from like a big box store? I got it from Vandermeer's. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people though, they'll get baskets of Brazil that have cream splash in yeah. them too. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot my mantua. Oh, this is a really popular one these days. Yeah. Everyone's been finding them in weird places and then reselling them for a million dollars. <laughs> but yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah, this one was a gift to me before they got really crazy. So. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and then one of my favorite terrarium plants, this is Polonia repens. Wow, that's really cool. And then I'll take this guy out. So oh yes. This is Hokushelia variegated. Beautiful. I believe this is the pink version. Oh, do they still, I guess they're, they would be variegated in both versions. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Um, but you can tell the difference. So I have all three, except for the red. Yeah. Um, but you can see these are a lot more spade shaped and those are kind of like rounded. Yeah. Um, versus yeah, you're right. I see that. These ones here. It definitely looks more like that one. Mm-hmm. It's pretty, pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm trying not to step on Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I'm wearing Crocs. I love the Crocs. Yeah. We love Crocs. <laughs> Fashion model. Oh, that's great English. <laughs> yeah. Then I have my big Hokushelia variegated here. Oh, it's beautiful. And where'd you get this guy? I got him at Kim's. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, and he was really laggy, so I took some cuttings. Yeah. He was, like, missing leaves, and then he had some. Oh, right, so yeah. I took some cuttings. Why not? Um, and then I have my beautiful, beautiful Serapogia limeris. Oh, I saw that at Secret Garden. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's tangled in here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel just stay attached. <laughs> um, but he, I got him when he was, like, here, and he just took off. Um, wow. They are very unique. I haven't seen them like mm -hmm. at all before, so. Mm -hmm. And then I have my Mithild here. Oh, it's beautiful. Kind of... yeah, yeah, he's actually, oh, yes. Oh, nope. Now he's like, no, I'm going to drop them. Oh. <laughs> he had some buds there. Yeah. Um, but they're dropping, oh. sadly, so. Uh, it's still a gorgeous little plant. Mine's actually quite splash, flashy. Yeah. Um, and then I have some cool things tucked behind here too. Yep. I have a carry eye splash there that's not very splashy, but it's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I have the silver sword. Beautiful. Right here. Um, I have a begonia cathedral windows. Oh yeah, those are really freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a really cool one. Um, I have. Another Soli Mutata. I have some Cidiums, some Cordatum. Or no, this isn't Cordatum, this is Hedricum. Um, but cool nonetheless. Some Nanook. Uh, a Wild Pony Begonia over here. Oh yeah. A uh, Tahati uh, over there. Um, and a Geoponthigeus Pagedia, which is this guy. We'll come Seersucker, around. which is the much easier. Oh yeah. Guy. And then peacock ginger. Yeah, these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. The peacock ginger is one of my favorites. Yeah. So there's so many different versions of peacock ginger, actually. Really? Um, there's one that looks like it's a checkered board. Really? I really love Oh, it. yeah. Um, so I'll have to find that at some point. For sure. Um, but they're hard to import um, because they're so fragile. Yeah. Um, but they're actually a shade plant in many countries. Right, yeah. So they're very common there and people will just like throw them into their gardens. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Um, and then this is my little succulent windowsill. Oh. So this is my variegated string of pearls. Ooh. Who just was put into a new mix so he looks a little like or <laughs> he'll um, grow into himself. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's super cool. Uh, so that's a variegated string of pearls. One of my favorite string of hearts. This is string of hearts silver glory. Oh, I've all I've never seen one of these in person, yeah. but those are beautiful. Yeah. So I got this from Folia Folia, if you know her on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, she has like a super long one. That's amazing. Um, so we traded for that. Um then I have a little variegated string of hearts. Beautiful. 
Yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I love when there's like a little bit of pink and a little bit of the white variegation oh, yes. too, like a mix. Uh, this one's actually quite uncommon. This is string of beads variegated. Yeah, I've never seen that. Or string of tears. Yeah. And it's Beautiful. quite cool. Uh, so that's Sinico Urenius. Is that even like a genus anymore or have they reclassified that? I don't know. I've seen random things being changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell with that one. It's a really good point. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, it's okay. I just thought I'd uh, yeah. bring it up. That's I didn't a good know. question. Uh, so this is a scraggly uh, um, Collegia gold. Okay. Uh, so it's not super gold right now, but it will get really gold eventually. Yeah, it's beautiful. I've never heard of that one before. Yeah. Um, hello, Mr. Fly. You just chilling out. Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> then is uh, another scraggly pink lady. Oh, yeah. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then just some cuttings, rooting of just normal string of pearls. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. um, and then in here, oh, why don't I do this on top? This is probably easier to get. Yeah. This is my little silver stripe. Nice. Um, I just got one for my mom. She was like, oh, yeah. she loves like the regular um, heart leaf oh, philodendrons yeah. like that, the trailing ones. So yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. They're just like a great go-to plant for spaces. Yeah. And they're really easy to care for too, which is nice. Not one you have to worry about. Uh, so this is my queen. Um, Ooh. <laughs> queen Antherium. Yeah. Um, and you can see she has some new roots growing finally. So the story is she lost all of her roots. Um, but now she has quite a few growing and a new leaf coming already. Which That's is really awesome. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it'll be acclimated to your area too. Exactly, so yeah. it'll be a better leaf free for sure. Yeah. She's a little beauty. I love her so much. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, that's most of my plants. What's in here, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like my propagation section. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty dirty in there. That's okay. Um, but I have Retusa, Mathilde, yeah. Nanook, Burl Marks. Um, Burl Marks, not Burl Marks. Man. Yeah, the regular Burl Marks here. Um, and a big uh, transcendent tricolor with not much variegation. Okay. Yeah. Got a little uh, begonia. What's that called? Oh, uh, maculata. Maculata. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, you've got a lot of cute little uh, Matilde cuttings in there. Yeah, and then my Christmas cactus. Oh yes, we can't forget her. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, so cute. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, this little string of turtles too. Oh yeah. That's Some adorable. String of turtles. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, actually the last thing I wanted to show you guys, she was showing me earlier. Brooke has these beautiful preserved butterflies. They're real, right? Like I'm not, They're yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so beautiful. Um, she does a little bit of work at a conservatory, so. Yeah, every once in a while, I haven't been back in a bit, but I miss it there. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Beautiful. This one's my favorite. Yeah. So a uh, cool thing about butterflies is both sides are different of the wings. So oh, I really? So they were completely clear cases because this guy here has an iridescent royal blue back. Really? Yes. With oh. a bit of red. Wow. I'll, They're really beautiful. I'll have to uh, look them up for you to show you the back. Yeah. But that guy doesn't because he's actually see-through. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. That's what cute crystals too. I'm yeah. into the crystals. Yeah. <laughs> I put mine like in my plants. <laughs> I've done that before too. I just like, I feel like I would get them lost in the soil and be like, where did they come Yeah, from? like <laughs> water them too much and then yeah. they're deep in the soil, find them later repotting. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you've got some beautiful, I think Globulosa or, I think yeah. they're the same plant, yeah. just different names. Yeah, and then some Pachiaclata. Oh yeah, I just got one of these from uh, Vandermeers when they had their... Yeah, this one's a little thin because he lost all of his roots. Oh, okay. Um, but let's see how he's doing. He has some little tiny nubs starting there. Yeah. Um, and this is in Lekka here. Yeah, so this is my little hydrokinic setup. Love it. Um, and then this guy here, he has some mad roots. Yeah. Uh, these he's are it. all ones that I was too lazy to remove. So don't worry about this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 
I love that one. That that one's on my wish list for yeah. sure. Yeah. But they're not they're not easy to find. Yeah. When he grows big big for me, oh oh we we can figure something. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, and then I have some begonias, some peace lilies. Just in oh, water here. Here's one of a really cool one. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is a variegated watermelon peperomia. That's incredible. Yeah. So I found him at uh, Valley View. Wow. And I got him for like three bucks. Oh my gosh. So I I've seen like ZZ plants where people get them yeah. for like 10 bucks, the variegated so ones. Good. That's like that. <laughs> um, my, my one Instagram friend, she's found like five variegated monsters. Are you joking? Yeah, they're all gorgeous. <laughs> she's got to be looking for them though. Like she's yeah. got to go every day. <laughs> That's she's, awesome. She, her, her Instagram though is a monster. Of Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so fair. Like, <laughs> she loves her monsters. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is my plant room. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So Brooke's going to show us what soil she uses too, because yes. I really, really like her soil mix. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit different from mine. So mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get that sorted and yeah. yeah. I have my big bag of fox farm soil. So this is the base yes. soil that you use. And then I have some earthworm castings. Love that stuff. And then I have... Thank you for giving me the hints about this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Such a good price. I was like, but it's a huge bag, too. Exactly, yeah. And so I have my little potting containers. It's awesome. Extra soil. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys Brooke's soil because I, I do love it. And she's got a really cool setup here. I wish I could do this. Yeah, it's uh, got my marifilth and stuff over here, too. Yeah. Um, Let's can actually show you how I mix my soil. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, so it's quite chunky and yeah. really porous too. So what I do is I take one of my scoops and I actually make like a little fancy layout. Yeah, I love it. I've seen it on your Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I take let's say pumice. Actually, do you mind if I come on the other side yeah, of you? Of Just course. Yeah, I'm probably perfect. Blocked. Yeah. <laughs> um. And so I lay out as much as I need of pumice. Um, charcoal, which I forgot to add more of last time I mixed. Yeah, I need to get some charcoal. The only charcoal that I use is, like I, I use the, um, pro mix orchid stuff and they have a bit of orchid bark and a bit of charcoal in it. Mm -hmm. But I really want to get some more like individual supplies yeah. Just hard to get out to like Vandermeers or, or Kim's. Kim's, yeah. yeah. Um, this is Mini Laika. Yeah, that's super cool. Which I love so much. It's like one of my favorite soil additives. Yeah. Okay, look how satisfying this is already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just, I'm just gonna move these to the yeah. side. I'm gonna make a mess while doing it. I'll just clean it up after. So I actually found this really chunky curlite. Yeah, okay, I've been looking for that. I love it. Um, so just I don't want it, you to inhale. Yeah, it's okay. Um uh, I found it at Grobe's nursery. Where's that? Um it's like Waterlooish area. Okay. Um and it's uh, they're, it's like six ninety nine for like a five or six liter bag. Okay, that's really yeah. good. Um, and the curl is so chunky. Yeah. And so I'm like, yes. I'll take all of this, please. I feel like any of the perlite that you can find in like big box stores is art. It's been squished so many times that it's just yeah, like exactly. dust. <laughs> um, just add a little bit more of this. I love that bark too. Orchida as well. Okay. I use different sizes of it. Yeah. Um, so I have a big size and then a smaller one. This is the smaller? Oh no, this, this is, is the big. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's awesome. Yeah. And then I just, I'll add a little bit more because I like it super chunky. And then I add a little bit of the fox farm soil. Since I have already have a good base of soil in there, I'm not going to add too much more. Right, yeah, there was a bit of soil in here before we started. You've got this down to a science. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. And then I just add a little bit of earthworm 
Yeah, the earthworm castings are really good for like a constant, but very gentle fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Doesn't burn the roots. <laughs> I like it to be perfect. I know, I'm with you. Yeah. No, it looks awesome. Yeah, and then you just mix, which is the most satisfying part. Yeah, we'll get the audio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Mm -hmm. And this is like what you use for pretty much everything, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for my codex plants, I use pumice, lica, and uh, a little bit of peat moss yeah. and perlite, and then just a little bit of soil. But then all my Hoyas, Aeroids. Um, Are your begonias in this too? Yeah, so okay. they're in a bit of a lighter mix, yeah. um, but very, very similar. That's awesome. Yeah, I find that like most plants are happy in, in something chunky like that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for showing me that. No problem. It's awesome. I'm happy to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it from us. Thank you so much, Brooke, for showing us around. <laughs> that was so awesome. We have her little friend hugging her there. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys enjoyed watching this video, you can give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more content, you can also hit that subscribe button. But if you guys did enjoy these types of tours and you want to see more, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Um, Brooke was so gracious to let us into her house. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of her super cool plants because she really does have some amazing plants. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see more of Brooke on my channel, let me know because we can always do that in the future. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be it from us, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>